I'm going to be rich someday. Standing in the Hall of Fame. This is the way. Yes, welcome back to the Chopper Fett channel. It's the world famous Chopper Fett coming to you today, and he doesn't know how to shift. But that's okay because he's world famous and makes millions of dollars doing YouTube. Lies. All lies. I'm sorry. I lied to y'all hard on that one. <laughs> hey guys, I'm serious. Enough. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Brett. We make motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here on my little section of YouTube. Today I'm talking about the reasons that you should not really get into moto vlogging and they really all kind of stand from a self-centered point of view not me being self-centered i'm talking other people being self-centered and unrighteous and everything let's go and get into it though so what am i talking about here today i'm talking about what i was singing at the beginning of this song being in the hall of fame being famous you know what I hate to break it to you, but 99.999 forever repeating percent. Uh, what do you think, Abdul? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33 uh, repeating, of course, percentage. Many of us who get into this gig aren't going to ever make it big. The market is too saturated for everybody to... Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or... do this. Leroy! Dragons. Oh my god, he just ran in. Get super popular like it was, you know, back in 2014-15 when this is all everyone made money game. Nowadays, you have to, you have to work hard and you have to put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Hopefully not too much blood or tears. The tears do happen a lot though. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, rambling there. Ooh, something was dead. You don't do this to get famous now. You do this because you enjoy riding your motorcycle and trying to build a community of friends. I am a monetized channel. It took me over almost two years, not quite two years, but almost two years. And I got really lucky on a handful of videos that really kind of pushed me over the edge. So I am a monetized channel but I am a realistic monetized channel. And you might be asking, well, Chopper Fett, what's a realistic monetized channel? What I mean by me being a, a realist is I am going to let you guys know that I don't make much doing this. Now, I am not Insta-famous. I'm not even, I might not even be a likable guy. I don't know. <laughs> but I do know that to make it into this world, sometimes people have to do some really kind of, uh, I don't want to say shady things, but they might not be the best people that you think they are on the surface. Kind of going a little deep here and getting off subject, but I've seen, I've seen the fame go to people's head, and I've seen the money go to people's head, and I've seen the way that they've acquired some of their money as well. And it really just kind of upsets me and pisses me off, especially when you get a charity involved. I will you. But that's another video that uh, maybe I'll share with you someday if I'm feeling salty. And no, that wasn't a dig at salty. Salty's a good guy. Like salty. Do you like salty? <laughs> but no, so as far as being rich and famous, becoming a moto vlogger, here's to put it in perspective. I think on average, my average dollar amount per 100 views is around a dollar, dollar 20. Um, my best videos I've made about 30 or 40 bucks on. They have done really well. They also have close to 15,000 views on them. So, you know, it's kind of like the, the whole stock market. It takes money to make money. Well, it takes views to make money in this, in this market. Um, but the realistic uh, expectation is not all of us are going to get to that 20,000 views per video. I'm not there. I average, I think, about 150 per video. 
If I can average 10% of my subscriber count on a video, I call that a success nowadays. I don't even really look at the subscriber count in, in numbers anymore because I hit my goal of that thousand subscribers and I just kind of stopped caring about it and I just wanted to start creating videos and vlogs that uh, were maybe a little bit easier for me to do and uh, you know kind of get back into the community. But as far as being realistic, you guys just got to know that no matter what you do, it's going to be hard. Now I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's just going to be really hard. The market again is super saturated and everyone has pretty much probably done the same story that you thought is uh, unique and true to just yourself. And there's nothing wrong with repeating stuff. Just let it be known that your most likely unique uh, exciting adventure is not so unique and exciting. And that's where it could take a little while to, to build your base and you have to express your personality and take that tried and true subject that's already been discussed and make it your own. So that's how you would kind of excel and make it. Don't do this to get famous. I, I will admit I had the hopes and dreams when I first started to be a Blockhead. Because I think when I started Blockhead was, you know, I think just over 100,000 subscribers at that point. And I knew it was like, hey, I could do what he's doing. I could be a Blockhead. Guys, Blockhead put so much time and effort into his channel and to his brand now. I can never grow to what Blockhead's going. Never could happen. And I don't want it to happen. I don't want my life to be that consumed. I don't want my life to be consumed by the fact that if I don't put out good content, I don't get paid. <laughs> I like this to be spare income. So what's the point of this... Uh, vlog here today anyway like so your belly aching that you know you're not going to become famous so why why are you doing it well the 360 died let me pull over and i'll tell you about it and to be fair the 360 didn't die it's because i don't have the settings set up correctly for it yet but look at that u-turn i just did what's up bob would be so proud of me hold up Hey, why are you players who think I'm soft? You're right. So this is a good point to go ahead and start and say why motor vlogging should be done by you. Whoa, 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 whoa. So for me personally, I have probably met a couple hundred people doing this, not personally. I met them through the internets. That's where I prefer to meet my people at. <laughs> but I have made some really good relationships with some really good people. And it's relationships that are so strong, they are probably about as strong as any relationship I have made you know, in my 38 years of life. I know I could go to them with anything. If I had an issue, personal or not I know I could go to them and they would probably make fun of me first but then they would help me out <laughs> but that's why I changed my mind as far as why I was doing it. again I started this initially first to you know kind of be a documentary purpose for my kid you know to someday watch me then I wanted to become famous then I learned about reality and now I'm to the point where I'm doing this because I love the people that I'm surrounded by by doing it. There have been many times I have almost given up on doing YouTube and given up moto vlogging. So many times, at least once a year for about a month, I go into a personal funk about it. But then I think of, you know, if I was to stop moto vlogging, I know these people would remain my friends but I feel like my interactions with them would go way down, way down. Especially because I'm the type of person, once I would remove myself from something, such as moto vlogging, I would probably remove myself from watching it. YouTubers, such as themselves, putting out their content. And that stinks for them, too, because I really 
think they put out some grade A quality stuff. Oh god. Oh yeah, traffic. So friendships being built, that's reason number one. And two, this is still a great escape. I absolutely love being able to ride and talk to you. It's great to have an interaction with a fellow motovlogger, that's really good. But like I said in a few videos ago, the best interaction is the non-subscriber or the new subscriber who doesn't do this as well. Those are the ones that you know that you've reached and those just actually, they warm your heart. Um, not to get too like, you know, soapy, softy, whatever. Sappy, sappy, there we go. Not to get too sappy about it, but that's what kind of motivates me. And it's kind of weird was I it took me posting a video this last week which only netted like 110 views so not really that good but it was the fact that you know people who I didn't know commented on it and then the the backup of the support of of my friends that I have made the the one biggest surprise was the fact that a channel that I absolutely love Megan Stark's channel she had commented on that video which to me, that just kind of meant the world. It's like, wow, I, I've got a little bit of recognition from someone much more popular than me. It's probably the most popular recognition I could say I probably have. So um, things like that just make it continue to want to uh, achieve and continue to do this quote-unquote job. So with that being said, why are you a moto vlogger? Or if you're not a moto vlogger, if you're a YouTuber, or if you're not a YouTuber... You know, why would you want to do all this with the cameras and the selfie sticks and everything else? I mean, are you trying to make it famous or are you just trying to, uh, you know, make your own little spot in the world? You know, I'm just a man trying to make my way through the galaxy, as a uh, famous man once said. So. <laughs> uh, but that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side, as this is the way. Chop Fetzi on the next one. Later!